All right, next thing I want to talk about here, Najee Harris. That's the second hottest topic of conversation amongst the Pittsburgh Steelers fans, our media. I don't even want to say fan base because I think everybody else is is very knowledgeable to say, nah, I don't think they're going to trade Najee Harris. But everybody in the media wants to talk about trading Najee Harris and shipping him to the San Francisco 49ers, the Dallas Cowboys. I saw the Denver Broncos yesterday. Then the other half is saying, well, the Steelers are probably going to extend him. Jerry Dulac tossed it out there that there's a pretty high probability that the Pittsburgh Steelers extend Najee Harris before the season and give him his $6.9 million just in a signing bonus and keep him around for two years. So let me ask you this. What's more likely, the Pittsburgh Steelers trade or extend Najee Harris? I mean, if I could give the answer of neither, I would. But if it's between the two of those, I think it's more likely that they extend them simply because I don't think that you're trading them this year. And obviously, you can't trade them after this year because his contract expired. So of the two, I would say it's more likely that you extend them just because I really don't see the Steelers trading Najee Harris this season at any point. Yeah, I... uh... I'm going to go with the third option here because yeah. I agree with you. I think if we had, if it was trade or extend, it is extent. There's no way that you're getting rid of Najee Harris. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going third option. They're just letting him walk. They're just, they're going to get what they could out of him this season. They're going to do what the, what every team has done with running backs over the last four or five years and just drive them until they can't drive them anymore. And then they're going to let him go and they're going to let him go sign somewhere else. And they're going to let another team take a major shot on a guy who probably has some potential still, but the Steelers don't need. It's what the New York Giants did. It's what the Las Vegas Raiders did, minus the franchise tag. And the Steelers are not going to franchise tag Najee Harris. They're going to get what they could out of him this year. They're, they're not going to run him into the ground. They're going to treat their running back game exactly like they treated it last year. They're going to try to keep Najee Harris healthy throughout the entire season. They're going to try to win a Super Bowl with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren running the show. And then next year, they're just going to say, okay, that was great. We appreciate the four years that you put into work here. Go sign somewhere else because they're going to pay you more than what we're going to pay you here. And that's where I think the Steelers stand. I think it's there's almost a 0% chance the Steelers trade Najee Harris this year. Like almost, there's just no chance. There's no, who Who is sitting around going, you know what? We're going to trade him. Screw a Super Bowl. We're just going to, we're going to trade him. Even if you're not high on Najee Harris, he's a, a great backup option as good of a backup option as you could ask for in the NFL. You're not getting rid of them. And it's just, it's the same argument that we made for Deontay Johnson last year when everybody was talking about, oh, trade Deontay Johnson, trade Deontay Johnson, trade Deontay Johnson. Why would you trade Deontay Johnson if you're looking to win? You know, you're not going to just trade a guy without being able to replace him. Granted, the Steelers did it this year, but I think that was more to go get Dante Jackson than it was to actually get rid of Deontay Johnson. I also think that they might have, Kind of felt like there was going to be a little bit of an issue there if Deontay Johnson was hanging out. Najee Harris is a totally different guy. You know, he's Jalen Warren is totally fine being a backup. He's got no issues with it. He loves his role in Pittsburgh. Najee Harris is totally fine with splitting carries with Jalen Warren. They understand what the offense is. They understand what they need to do. I just, if you're hunting for a Super Bowl, the last thing you want to do right now is get rid of probably your best offensive weapon in Najee Harris. So I'm going to say that they don't extend him because they understand where it goes from here. And Jalen Warren, you could tender him for a lot less money. So that's a much better option. And you could go find a running back. I'm not saying they grow on trees like everybody says they do. But I'm saying that you could go out and you could find somebody. You know, we looked at the market earlier and there's still Damian Harris. There's still Kareem Hunt. There's still Cam Akers. You could go find a number two. And then you just let Najee walk and you hope that he that he goes. Am I? You know, your thoughts, your thoughts on that. The interesting part of this conversation, especially when people are talking about extending Najee Harris for that same money, but multiple years, why would Najee do that? Right. I mean, you, yeah. you could have a really good season, even if he has a similar season to the three he's had before, he's going to make more money on the open market. So why yeah. would he be like, all right, well, you didn't pick up my fifth year option, but let me sign for the amount of money that I would have gotten in my fifth year option. It doesn't make sense from Harris's standpoint. So while, yeah, it'd be great for the Steelers if instead of one year at 6.7, they get two years, 6.7 million each, it doesn't make sense for Najee. So that whole aspect of extending him just doesn't make sense to me personally. And also, why would he sign for less than that if he knows that if he has another good season, he's going to make 10 and upwards? Yep, exactly. Exactly. There might be 
look, I, there is zero truth to Najee Harris saying, I don't want you to pick up my fifth year option. Mm-hmm. There's zero truth there. But that doesn't mean that he wasn't like, all right, this is a good opportunity that they didn't. It doesn't mean that him and his agent haven't had conversations about, okay, we think that if we ball out this year, we're going to cash in next year. And we're going to get to a team that isn't in Pittsburgh, that isn't freezing cold, that's closer to family. I'm going to have options. I'm going to get to free agency is an exciting thing for top for top free agents. You know, if you're a big name who's coming off a big season, you don't want to resign early. You want to hit the open market. You want to go get paid and see how much you're worth. Najee Harris is going to be sitting in the same boat. I think he is sitting in the same boat where he's like, okay, look at you didn't want to extend me or you didn't want to pick up my fifth year option. I get it. And I'm okay with that because all I got to do is put up another thousand yards and somebody's going to toss me a bag and I'm going to go get the bag. I, I think that's the the way to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the other thing too, is when you look at the crop of free agents next year at the running back position, he's probably, if he's available, the top guy. I mean, other guys there, Aaron Jones, James Connor, Samaj P. Ryan, AJ yep. Dillon, Nick Chubb. There's a lot of good names, but Najee Harris is in or around that conversation for every single one of those as a better option, or at least a similar option, maybe not Chubb, but outside of that, uh, it's, it's going to be Najee Harris. And he's in a position where he's not going to have to carry the ball every single game 35 plus times. He's in a situation where the ball is going to be spread around. So the odds of him getting injured are going to be lower. The odds of him having a good season are still going to be high because it's a similar situation. It's a good situation for Najee Harris to be playing on a contract year. At least it's as good as it could be for anybody in the NFL. Yep. And on top of that, you don't know what Arthur Smith and I get it like he's a zone. He's Arthur Smith is a zone run coach and Najee Najee Harris isn't a zone run player, but I think that could still mesh well. And I, that's all he needs. You know, the Steelers, all they have to do is look like the Tennessee Titans a couple of years ago and Najee be like the guy. And then he's the hottest name out there. You know, he's the guy everybody wants in the Steelers. OK, yeah, I'll go get your bag. We're fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I agree. I don't think that it's uh it's going to happen that the Pittsburgh Steelers extend and they definitely are not going to trade him, but we're still going to have to talk about him trading them because there's going to be a lot of people who toss every single name out there looking for a running back. And just to kind of shut that down, if you think the Pittsburgh Steelers would trade their starting running back and the leader of this offense for a fourth round pick, you wouldn't even make that trade mad, man. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even think about it. You wouldn't even think about it. Never. It would never happen.